poker night. Finally, after a long, long week at work, it's time to play some cards. We're playing over at a buddy's house tonight. He was so gracious to host. We are bringing the chips and the cards though, so we need to head over there. Should be seven-handed, should be kind of small, but um, should be a pretty good game. I'm looking forward to it. So we better head over there and help set up. Let's go. So it's a couple of days after the poker game. We are currently hanging out at the in-laws house, mostly because they have a pool and I wanted to come hang out by the pool, probably get in the pool after I shoot this video and uh, you know, just hang out and talk some poker with you guys. So uh, let's talk about the poker game. All in all, it was pretty good. Some new people, some new faces. Uh, all in all, it was a good night. I think everyone had a good time. Had some pizza, had some poker, had some beers. Um, it was a good time. So uh, let's go over a couple of hands that were interesting. There aren't many. Um, most of the hands pretty much played themselves, but um, I have a few to talk about that might be just a little interesting. So let's go ahead and talk about those right now. So in this first hand, we are seven handed and we are in the small blind and we have two limbs before us and we look down at ace five suited, nicknamed the new ace king suited. So since it was lent to us, we decided to go ahead and put in a raise to 400. Blinds are 50 and 100. I think this is the first level. Two callers, so we go to a flop of queen, six, four, two spades. Check over to us, and I'm going to bet, since there are other people in the pot, so just in case we hit our flush, and I mean, I might already have the best hand with an ace, go ahead and bet 600. Um, the under the gun player folds and the other limper makes the call. Turn is a deuce, an off suited deuce. Checks it over to us again and now we have a little more equity so I go ahead and put in another bet of a thousand. He makes the call pretty quick so I'm a little skeptical of what he has and the river comes a six, another off suit six which pairs the board but this time the guy goes ahead and leads out for 1500 and when he leads out he says something really suspicious of i haven't looked at my cards yet now i believe this guy because if you knew him and played with him you would know that he is very notorious for doing this so we go ahead and make the call i toss in the chips i mean we beat all of his random hands with the ace he could just have nothing and he turns over the old 10-4 off so a little disappointed on that but um i mean what can you do we've got the ace he says he didn't look at his cards i believe him that he didn't look at his cards so what can you do 
So unfortunately, what happened with that Ace-5 suited was kind of the story of the night for me. Um, I didn't pair my cards for the first hour and a half that we played. So it was a little frustrating just to see a bunch of hands go by and nothing came of it. Um, I lost half my stack within the first hour and then we ended up busting, but uh, we ended up firing another bullet in there. And then things started turning around. We started pairing. We started winning when we needed to win. So the second hand came in uh, while we were four-handed. And we have pocket sixes in the big blind. Gets raised to us by the small blind. Um, I think he raised it to 7,000. So blinds are probably 1,000, 2,000, I would say, by this point. So we look down at sixes, we're in the big blind. Uh, knowing this player, he is extremely aggressive, so I don't want to re-raise because he is, he does like to bluff a lot. So I wanna see the flop, I wanna see what comes out, and uh, I wanna keep all of his bluffs in his range. So the flop comes out pretty good for us, three, four, four. So we have the over pair, um, we lose to all of his other pairs, we lose to ace four. So he throws out a continuation bet of 7,000. We go ahead and make the call. The turn is a 10, and he checks it over to us, and I feel pretty good about this, but I don't want to bet and get him off the hook just yet, because as long as the river does not come an ace, a king, or a queen, I feel pretty good about our hand. So I decide to check it back. The river comes a jack, and he checks it over to us again, and I decided to just check it um, because he is well known to over jamming rivers. So I decided to check back thinking that we had won and he turns over ace jack. So it was a good thing I didn't bet. A little unfortunate that he hit the river, but um, you know, I think we played it right, especially against this player. Um, I don't think I think if I would have bet the turn, he was probably calling or he was over shoving anyway. So I think um, I think we made the right play there with that hand. All in all, a pretty successful poker night. I hope to have another one here pretty soon. We try to play and get together with the core group, as we call it. Um, at least the guys that have been playing with us for over 15 years. There's about seven or eight of us. We try to play every other month. So uh, we'll see what happens in the next couple of months. But Thanks a lot, guys, for stopping by, and I will see you next week. Tell me another one of your sevens. <laughs> Check. Oh, my God. Did we pass one? That one? No. Thank you.